It's not a lot of weight. It's only 4,940 pounds, but this one's gonna be a big deal. At the time of this filming, this is a brand new floor plan. This is a 251 RBK Coachman Apex here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this is what happens when the very popular 215 rear bath outside kitchen has a baby with the 249 uh, rear bathroom. It's got the living room of the ultra popular 249 that we still carry here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, married up with the awesome rear bath and outside kitchen of the 215 RBK. The uh, the the end result here, it's, it's simple, but man is it effective. And it's funny, I didn't even intend for that, but that's really like the entire game plan behind Apex Campers down at Coachman. It's why we love them here at Haylet RV. They're simple where they should be, and they're fancy where they could be. This is an exceptionally well-crafted trailer. Everything on this is purpose-built. Every square inch of this is premeditated. Nothing is done by accident. You've got extra thick, heavy, fully laminated baggage doors so that they're fully insulated so that you don't get uh, you know, all your climate-controlled air bleeding out of your RV. Um, the easy one-hand uh, magnet latches on these, the, the full slam latches, and those are metallic slam latches, now the cheaper plastic ones. Um, you're already here, you're solar prepped, so if you want to get one of those little portable solar panels that we offer here at Halid RV, they usually run the neighborhood like 575 to 600 ish, something like that. You're all set to do so. They even protect the hinge on their baggage doors, and if I open this back up, you'll notice it even has like a full automotive seal system on the baggage compartment. Now you see a little bit of dribbling. I'm trying to juggle a camera, open stuff, and juggle an umbrella at the same time here because I'm dodging raindrops right now. But uh, th this kind of weather is exactly what this is built for because it doesn't always, you know, sh uh, shine sun when you're camping in an apex. Now this has an awesome uh, LED exterior lighting package on the power awning. And what's cool is they also have a, a really sweet full uh, like uh, lighting package on their outside speakers as well, which is on a different switch, by the way. So it, you can kind of like build your own light package. And I swear, the graphics, uh, the, the decals they have on the front and the, the sides and back of this thing, it looks three-dimensional. It looks like it's jumping off the skin of the trailer. Now, you may have noticed as I panned around, they put the spare tire on the tongue of the Coachman Apex series. They do that for load equalization. This will help the trailer track a little bit better behind you because a little more weight up front is better than weight in the back and especially weight all the way back behind the bumper. Um, the slide walls are rough textured and seal gripping. Uh, again, for from a quality standpoint, I like the slide system they use on the Apex because it's fully self-adjusting. Um, when you run the slide all the way in or out, you'll actually hear the motor amp out. It'll go, vroom, vroom. But that last little, vroom, that second kick that it does there, it's a self-adjustment period. It will make sure the slide stays square in the slide wall so that it doesn't get kitty wampus, which means you have a leak. Now you see the outside shower built right onto the slide face. That's not common, but it's actually a really handy feature so that you don't have to go ducking under things to get to it. Now the front and rear walls are a little bit darker shaded, they're accented, and it's pretty obvious the more you look at this that they obviously have a lady designer doing interiors and exteriors at Apex. Um, I, I'm not trying to be stereotypical or chauvinistic or whatever, but like, case in point, my wife, she can just put together things that look dynamite together. She's a custom cake designer. Me, I, I can barely get through the eight crayons in a Crayola box. We do have a um, outside, or oh, well, yeah, of course it's outside, but a black tank flush system on this. This is an all aluminum skeleton. Uh, it is fully laminated uh, pretty much everywhere that it could be. Uh, walls, floor, roof. Um, it's a full walk-on roof. That's something I definitely want to point out here. Um, the, uh, oh, outside kitchen. Let's look at the outside kitchen. So that big outside kitchen door is fully insulated just like the smaller baggage compartment is. Otherwise, you'd have a huge hole in the wall from a thermal standpoint right here. But on a drizzly day like today, you can see that that uh, thing rises high enough that you're not going to hit it with these two big struts. Full size outside fridge as opposed to the uh, the, the smaller little college kid fridge. Um, these outside refrigerators and RVs, they are electric only. And that is true of every brand I've ever seen. I've yet to see anyone that puts a gas electric fridge outside though. Now that I've said that, I'm sure someone will. They also don't use 
one of those little black bumper mounted RVQ grills on the Apex family. Really the entire Koshin family, like we also carry the Freedom Expresses here at Halet RV. Um, this is a high output grill. It's a real grill, not a two burner cooktop or whatever. It feeds off those high pressure one pound bottles you can get anywhere. And those things are fantastic because that means this is fully mobile. If you want to take this out, um, not everybody wants to cook right there. Some people want to bring it over to the picnic table where you've got your outside TV hookups over here. They want to cook there. Y you can move it to your buddy Frank's campsite next door or whatever, you know. It gives you the opportunity to do different things. Um, you'll notice that all of your drawers are fully plywood boxed out and they finish the drawer edges so that they don't have uh, splinter country going on here. Now, whether it's the outside kitchen countertop, inside kitchen countertop, tables, whatever, bathroom uh, countertop, they're all thermal foil, which means they're sealed edged, they're a pressed membrane, they're waterproof. And I like that this is a real sink. It drains into a tank not onto the ground. That is a clutch feature. And that outside plug right there, if you want to put phone chargers and stuff, you're going to love that little thing. Um, bigger entry handle for easy come and go. I love the big window on the campsite. That is one of the benefits of having a, people like, why do they put the kitchen in the slide out? So that you actually get windows under your awning looking at your campsite, which is a feature a lot of brands miss. So let's step inside and see what else she brings to the table. There's a big feature in the Coachman Ultralights I failed to mention just a few seconds ago, and that is the Asdell in their sidewall construction. Rather than Luon wood panels below the fiberglass skin, Coachman Ultralights here at Halet RV use a material called Asdell. And they're not the only ones to do it, but Coachman was the first major manufacturer to use it on a large scale. They're the reason everyone else is doing it. It is lighter than wood. It has superior insulative qualities. It is quieter inside here because it's a noise dampener. And it is just a hard moisture barrier. Moisture just cannot penetrate the wall. I've got a sample of an Asdell laminated uh, sidewall inside that was submerged in water for 60 days. The stuff is not falling apart. It's in amazing condition still. So I don't want to miss that. Now, because this is an above floor slide out, that gives Apex the opportunity to make this a completely carpetless floor plan, which I think is so smart. Um, the combination sofa kitchen or galley slide, as it's sometimes called in the marine and RV industry, it is a hyper effective solution because it gives you a ton of storage. And actually, interestingly, you can get more countertop space here than in a full super slide traditional uh, like seating slide with kitchen on the door side. Um, like case in point, if you look behind your stovetop here, you see how much extra countertop is back there? That's how much extra countertop space you get with this, and there's storage all the way below it. So this is an interesting kitchen sofa super slide, which is a very classic feature. Just, it's not like they're the first ones to use it. It's like Apex is one of the very last to use it. It's awesome. Now, instead of stupid pillows that nobody cares about and they always end up on the floor and you end up throwing them away or stepping on them or whatever, Apex gives you something you're actually going to use. It's, I, and I, I, I actually, I'm, I'm not just making this up. I like this so much I bought one from their Coachman shop. Uh, the uh, little Apex fleece blanket. I'm six foot tall and in some change. It is perfect for me. I can just sit in my chair at home. I can kick my feet up, wrap up in that, and I will go out in about T-minus no time flat. That is awesome. I love that they gave you something you can use because, again, everything in this is purpose-built, custom-made, just designed for this purpose. So one thing you're, you got to remember here is the kitchen's not done. The kitchen actually continues directly behind you, which is where you have your six and a half foot tall floor to ceiling pantry over here. Plus, we've got, you can see that stainless appliance bundle, which really gives this thing an awesome look. Uh, you've got triple full extension drawers down there. There's extra storage below the stove. Now, again, waterproof countertops. And that's part of the reason I kicked off uh, one of the flush mount sink covers. Two reasons, actually. One, you can see that this is a recessed sink. And two, it's stone cast. This is not plastic or composite, as I sometimes hear it called by snake oil salesmen. That's a fancy word for plastic, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, stone cast is a superior material. Um, it basically has a lot of the benefits, pretty much all the benefits of stainless steel, except it can't rust. You can hit that thing with up to 500 degrees of heat before it begins to be compromised. The water evaporates before that. I mean, it's really hard to screw it up. Um, 
the extra storage over the dinette's a nice touch, but again, that big window uh, for all that visibility, but you always do have uh, privacy shades if you wanna pull those down. Now, there are different interior decors available if you're looking for a different color than this, but they're all pretty neutral-ish, guys. There's not a lot of options. This can fold down into a sleeper. The sofa can fold down into a little sleeper. So far, Everything we've seen inside matches the 249 RBS Apex that we carry here at Halo RV. It's when we get to this stage back here that the game changes because we shift from the 249's rear bathroom to the 215's rear bathroom from a, uh, a smaller 7 foot wide Apex. This obviously being a full 8 foot wide camper. It gives you all of this awesome floor space. So you got that foot flush toilet to make life easy. You can get in and out of the shower and because uh, you have tons of room down here, you can actually get dressed. Both the skylight and a power vent fan up here, so you got excellent visibility. So we actually do have a medicine cabinet. We still have the waterproof countertops back here, but above the outside kitchen, this has more storage than the 249 ever dreamed of having. But they're different. Basically, the 249, though, what's cool about that is it offers a direct to the bathroom door. That's the other reason that we still carry it here at Halet RV. They're both great in different ways. So if you like this living room, you have a choice. If you'd prefer a second entry door that goes straight to the bathroom, then give us a call and we'll get your name put on a 249 rear bath slide here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you prefer the outside kitchen and you don't care about a second bathroom entry door, then we can get your name put here on this 251 RBK here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You can have it either way. Um, like, that sounds dangerously like Burger King. I'm probably going to get sued now, but whatever. So I talked about the fleece blanket. Oh, the entertainment center. I, this is an awesome feature. So you do have privacy doors, not curtains. Again, fancy where they could be, simple where they should be. And a lot of campers have a uh, spinning entertainment center right here. And that's all well and good. First of all, you need to open the doors to, to make this thing function. But here's where this one reigns supreme. Most RVs that have a spinning television, the DVD unit is stuck, it's fixed mounted here in the living room. So if you wanna try to use it at night when you're laying in bed, you have to get up, open the door, grab the remote, come out here, disturb everybody. Well, again, they just did it smarter. How is that not the simplest, stupidest, but smartest, bestest thing ever? How is just, why is this so uncommon? They're not the first and only ones to do it. Don't get me wrong. But it drives me crazy that it's not every single time. That is simple, smart, effective. Bluetooth, DVD, slices, dices, Julians. I haven't said that in a while. Susan, super fan, Spalding of our YouTube channel will appreciate. Um, big phone charge station right here. Moving up front. Just, oh. Oops, 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 oops. I'm supposed to lock that in place before I open the uh, bedroom doors. I failed. My wife will tell you I fail regularly, but that's okay. I shall endeavor to persevere. Cross breeze windows, fresh air from outside, and full length wardrobe closets. And they are angled inward so that it reflects more light toward the living or the bedroom area to make this not feel so small. Now, uh, some people are saying, ooh, it's a little small bedroom. Sure. How much time do you really spend in the bedroom? This is not made to, to, to like, you know, hang out in your bedroom all day. This is made to get in your living room, go outside under the awning, have a good time. Like it's raining and it's raining worse as we speak. And I could hang out in here all day and feel fine about it. I think it's awesome. I'd per, I, what I'm gonna do, I'm calling dibs on that blanket. Um, if somebody gets up, I will, I, I will take the blanket. If they try to get it back, I will fight them. I will keep that blanket. I love those things. I need to get one of those new dark, like, charcoal, space gray ones. Little silly stuff like this, too. Like my awning lights. Let's say, let me turn some of these off so it's super visible. You wake up at night, you're like, oh, shoot, I left the awning light on. One, the awning lighting package on this is really bright, as you've already seen. But two, bang, I can stand right here and shut this down. They do a lot of good in this. Like the extra lights they've added above the entertainment center that naturally I just shut off before showing you and all that. They've done a lot of good in here. And again, the service record here at Halet RV for the Coachman Apex series is virtually unparalleled by anything else. There's only a few other brands that are matching their service records. And there's lots of good campers out there. But this is absolutely in a superior performance category. And that's why I love them. So with that, I invite you to give our team a call, visit the link in the video description, stop by our store here, Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, where we only do everything ranging from pitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, 
and happy camping everyone.